Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Fire Emblem Three Houses PMU. Last time, we went into a lot of discussion about how this whole PMU thing is going down. And even then, I made some bad conveyance ideas. I want to note that we are making builds each episode for the characters that we cover. That seemed to have been... <laughs> I, I did that poorly. I think I did that very late in the battle. I'm, I'm blaming myself because a couple of people were doing that for characters that weren't even picked, weren't even talked about, like, at all. I, I feel like that's my bad. We're only going to talk about characters we cover. Speaking of, I'm going to pick the blue lion, by the way. We're so going to pick our chosen. wonderful blue lion house that I love you so much. They are all Speaking of, I'm in the middle of something. you know what? I'll no, give it a minute. No. Let's... This I'm just gonna, there's too much talking going on, and I can't skip past it. Flan, you're very cute. You're a very nice girl. And we meet our wonderful blue lion house. I I love all of these characters. Like, a good deal. Hi, Annette. Hi, Annie. You're cute. You're great. I love you. Moving on. Uh, like, these are very solid all across the board. I think Golden Deer is my favorite, but this house is not too shabby itself. I really do love them. But, we also have our first two units. Their builds have been decided. First, we have Byleth commented on with eight votes. We have Poiri. They want Byleth to be a little practical, somewhat useful, since... Uh, I guess they're pitying me a little bit since it seems like they think it's going to be very chaotic. They're giving me an okay Byleth build. Some, uh, pretty close to the Pegasus line. They're going Soldier, Pegasus Knight, Paladin, Falcon Knight. Um, which is, like, I think it's pretty, Byleth is pretty good at anything, and flying units are always good, so I'm happy to take one of those. And he's, uh, playfully named it Flyleth, which I, 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 it's cute. It's cute, I like it. We also have Dimitri commented on by Turtle Extreme, also eight votes, labeled Sword Mitri. Mirbadon, Lord Swordmaster. His idea, a lot of crit, Master Swords. Good authority, uh, Lord to make use of authority. I'm surprised he didn't want to note uh, like Hero as the second advanced class, but mm, whatever, it's on him. Uh, you seem to be fine with it. I have a request. But yeah, high crit, high swords. Uh, he's talking about battalion vantage and battalion wrath, something Dimitri will probably get easily thanks to his uh, high authority rank. So I'll try. I'll do my best to make sure of that I'm interested. He's also speaking of using Astra and Dimitri strong. So like, I wouldn't put it past him. He'd be a, a bulky person. <sighs> but yeah. Those are the two people, and those are should be the only two people, as we are only going to vote for people we cover in the episodes. Speaking of, hey, professor. hi the Sylvain. The most hi people. Sylvain, it's how you doing, buddy? You simply... Oh, you're so cute. I, you're great. Professor? Sylvain. One of the few, one of the only other blue lion units we get. One of the only voted on ones, or uh, chosen ones. He's pretty physically oriented similar to uh, Dimitri good strength good defense pretty good speed honestly good health he's bulky and physically strong like he does both of those things well pretty good cha but his magic also isn't like terrible by the house standard 30% and then plus whatever your class bonus gives you is not bad it's not bad he definitely, obviously, more oriented toward physical. If you look at his proficiencies, he's proficient axe, lance, and horses. He wants to lean towards a paladin build, and honestly, I could see him as an armor knight build, especially with the little boost to uh, from philanderer. Having female units nearby gives him uh, plus two to damage and plus two to defense. So, or well, not defense, but plus two uh, takes two less damage, which is both very good things. And like I, I think that'll help him. I think that help him tank a little bit. Uh, he does have the hidden talent of reason, black magic, Hello, avoid Professor. plus twenty, well, which also pretty good. I, I could see him as like a mortal savant trying to dodge tank things. And given pairing that with his fifty percent base favor? speed, like, like I could see him doing it. And if we get him like resolve or 
something similar to that. Like I like he he doesn't seem like he'd be bad at it. He honestly seems well rounded. And especially oh, I guess real quick, his crest. He has a minor crest of Gatia. Uh, I figured out their that they're minor crests because the, I actually learned that there's a difference between how they label it. There's normally a crest icon above it. That means a major crest. I actually messed up Dimitri's screen because he has a minor crest as well. But uh, he has the minor crest, which gives him a 40% chance to raise the might damage by 5 when using combat art. It would be 70% if he had a major crest. It's nice. just... I knew I could yeah. count on you. Uh, anyway, onto his spell list and his arts. He actually has a pretty good... Like, his lists are pretty good. Bologna, Sagitta, and Ragnarok, not bad spells. Not by any means are they bad. And his faith, he gets physics on faith. And Seraphim, which is good against monsters, which, like, I, sounds really good and ideal. I would love to have that on uh, any unit, mostly, especially with how many monsters we run into. Like, he doesn't have a bad spell list at all. And his magic isn't, like, the worst. It's okay, which I think is passable in this game, because there, there's a fair bit of damage that comes from just the spell itself. Um, he does suffer a little bit if he goes down like a specifically magic build, because he would probably work better as a mixed attacker, though he could come back as like a holy knight. Um, or like a war monk, probably, if he had good faith. Uh, mortal savant for that black reason of void. He he has options, is what I'm saying. For sure he has options. Where am I go How do I zoom out? Wow, I just... I feel like... Oh, oh, I was playing a different... I forget what game I was playing diff, uh, earlier, but it was a different button to zoom out on the minimap. And I got all confused. But his arts, Monster Piercer, went over that with Dimitri. Good against monsters, so he's good on the land stand if you want to build him that way. Uh, Swift Strikes, on demand brave weapon for any weapon. That sounds pretty practical. We're done exploring. Actually, you get Spike, which is just more damage than Smash, just a little bit more, more accuracy, which is good. Lightning Axe, interesting. Definitely would lead into like a War Monk build if we wanted to mix physical attacker. Or he could just have it on his own. I just think it would placate some of the magic growths he might not be getting. So it might not seem as effective. His res growth is also just not the best to work with the uh, additional bonus damage. But it's okay. It's not the worst. It would probably be better on like a net. But it's not bad. But that's Sylvain. And we're going to be voting on Sylvain. Make, put your builds down below on Sylvain and vote for Sylvain. And in two days, the voting will be end, and we'll go over what build Sylvain will be getting. Okay? Much appreciated. But yeah, that's that, and we're going to hop right into uh, the chapter one battle. This battle is a bit of a heckler. Bit of an annoyance. Especially when we're only going to have three units. I've done this with just Byleth before, I, it's hard, it's hard no matter how you do it, I swear to god, it's hard. But, we're gonna slowly muddle through it. I don't, we, <laughs> we'll be okay. Also, time for a little confession. If you've noticed, Byleth is level 2. Last time, she never hit level 2 because Dimitri stole the boss kill. I did a big dumb... My, I don't, I maybe I bumped it, maybe I unplugged it by accident, I don't know. My mic wasn't on the whole time I already tried to record this episode. And I beat it, and I finished it, and I hit save, and I ended the recording, and I looked, I think I went into Discord with a friend, and there was no sound. And I checked back in the recording, there was no sound. So I actually had to replay the, pro the, paralo the prologue because I saved over the file. Lesson learned, make many saves. <sighs> but yeah. We have these two to work with. I've also done this already before. So I know for certain that it was kind of rough. Uh, most important thing, make sure everyone is packed to the teeth with stuff. Uh, you take this. You're gonna need that. You're gonna need a sword. Uh, you could use an axe, because you... 
you come with Smash and Tempest Lance, both good at the start. Also, uh, I'm not at the level 5, I'm not at the beginner class, so I'm going to be using whatever weapon I have available to me. Uh, but it doesn't mean I'm not going to just completely... I'll definitely still try and get them what they need. I'm going to like pop that Lance Red on Byleth. Uh, second Iron Bow, I'm going to put this on Dimitri. Uh, last time I needed multiple bows on people. Bows are very helpful in general. I'm actually probably going to take this training bow too. But I also need to make sure I'm decked out with as many vulnerabilities as possible. So I think I'm actually going to drop Dimitri's axe. I don't think he has a use for it. And nothing he builds to or uses it either. So I'm going to take that. You can take the axe. And... Uh... Maybe you don't need a training bow, honestly. I think I'd rather you just, uh, carry around these. So give your training bow back and take that. Like, that's honestly not too much damage, I don't think. And it's only for this chapter, really, because with three people, the experience gets spread around, and they're probably going to be level five by the next one, so I'm not even going to think too hard about it. Okay, so, uh, we need to go into it again. It is about time. There's a couple of I'm points, sure um, I'm gonna need lucky breaks. I have this map fucking ingrained in my brain, by the way. Like, it didn't even matter that I'm replaying Stay it. Focused. There's points where crits are just gonna happen. It's gonna, it's gonna be messy. Actually, oh wait. Oh, I should've moved Sylvain closer, I think. I think Sylvain's technically tankier than uh, my lord. Okay, five speed, uh, seven speed. Okay, so I can use either. I can use the lance or the spear. Uh, I'll use sword. I said lance or spear. I know what I said. Uh, I don't think it matters too much. Me? Oh no, not me. I can't fight. I'm Ignatz and no one likes me. Yeah, like there are a lot of low percent crits that I just have to worry about that scare me. Choppies and Ignatz is gonna go, and we're just gonna quickly eliminate them with the. I hate myself. Can can you? Okay, cool, 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 cool. Okay, this works a lot actually. Woo! That one is expected. And you get bonus experience from her. I'm fine with this. Uh. I should probably work on my Lance, 80%, and then Dimitri can probably follow up and kill. Oh, but I also have to be wary of my speed. Four speed, what is my speed gonna be with Lances? I think if I use a Lance, oh, no, nope, we're good. Okay, I'm going to definitely use Lance just to try and poke at it a little bit. Nice, ooh, a little heal. And then Dimitri can finish off with Oh <laughs> See, it's overkill. Like, I didn't plan for that, so it just kind of happened. And it, like, it didn't do anything. It's like getting a fucking crit Pokemon when they're at, like, 10%. No point. All the time happens, though. Uh, and we have bows to work with, which I'm going to abuse the fuck out of in the early game. Because I can. Careful, please. Careful, dude. Uh, we're not we're not taking no chance we're using battle arts early uh. what's next see overkill no reason uh now we're just gonna walk our way over I should probably get the better lance to Let's Dimitri or like a more stable one because he's gonna waiting. be using arts I'll probably just give that two use one to buy lift unfortunately we can't buy stuff so I just can't worry about it so I'm just gonna do as I was. Okay, so the general game plan here is to draw out, uh, huh, they're the same speed. Who's stronger? By the stronger, so I'm gonna use her. Uh, we need someone to draw out Hilda. And that's going to be Byleth. I think if I, so this weird interaction happened where they weren't drawn out immediately. It actually took an extra turn, so I'm going to since I didn't get to the exact range I wanted, I'm going to draw them out. Okay, nope, it just worked differently this time. I don't understand anything. 
Fuck you. Th that is not a low number! Hilda- What? Fuck off! Ah, 90 90% is such a tiny number, dude. I don't get it. Why would it not- I, <laughs> What happened to Faye where everything's 100% hit rate? Huh? Where's that? Well, now this just completely fucked up my plans. Golly. This is obnoxious. I have to... Be mindful. I like blow up the claw, don't I? I'd have to like kill you in one. I didn't get the better lance again. Nice. Okay, well actually, maybe if I just focus all my efforts on Claude, uh, Hilda can't really kill anything. 15, and then the Prince can... Oh, well, the Prince can attack from this side. I don't have it. I mean, Sylvain can attack from this side, and you can't do enough damage. <sighs> I, I, I didn't listen to myself. Wait, okay, so Sylvain will go, like, here, right? Can you, like, get a random crit? That'd be stellar. Ah, uh, it's fine, it's fine. Okay, so now Sylvain can trade the better lance over and do his thing again. I could have done this in the other order. I think I... Okay, perfect. Your princeliness, Claude. Your princeliness, please do your damage. Nice. Okay, Byleth can scoop it up. Coming up with brilliant schemes. You know that was. Yep. Nice. Good level. Good level. I need a good level speed. Okay. You know what? Defense is okay too. Fine. Now I'm like I'm trying. She just didn't. She just, she just didn't. Okay. Whatever. I, I like broke her spirit. But <laughs> there was no one watching so she got lazy and gave up. <laughs> Is that what actually just happened? Fuck off three hours. <laughs> oh, I need to give this kill to the prince. Even everyone up, it's like Pokemon. Thank you, Pack Mule. Stay focused. Okay, so there's a there's a crit chance involved. Uh, I could just die, which in that case I'll probably just cut away. Four percent. Get him. All right, Hammerman is weak. Maybe I could just use a sword, just a little tap from the sword. Nope. I don't want to risk another crit though. Uh, so we're just gonna use this for the time being. It's not okay. Look, it's okay though, because early level uh, classroom teachings boost rank a lot, and we should be able to get him to the class he needs to be. No strength twice, D Dimitri. Is that you? I'm. I'm a little upset. I'm a little upset. This is happening right now. Hey. What the fuck? He has a 60% growth, guys. I don't like that. Should not be happening. He missed it twice. Okay. Big boy's coming. <sighs> right back at you again. I am still not in a good position. Who is... Okay. So you're there. I wish I got someone set up over there. But it is what it Stay is. Focused. I'm going to set up like this to hopefully... And we're going to probably end up backpedaling. Play a little defensive. I got one more point of res, which is cool. Because you do, yeah, you don't kill. Can't double. And we're probably going to backpedal because Edelgard is scary. Very scary. Although, actually, nice! Okay, wait a minute. Hold on. This isn't, this isn't that scary. Because actually, now that the way level ups have panned out, you have 9 speed. So that means with a sword, you shouldn't get doubled. Yeah, you wouldn't get doubled by her. Huh. 
unfortunately... Well, how much are you looking to do? Nine plus, I believe she does 16 damage. Well, that was before. It's my defense right now. She'll do 17 damage. So as long as I'm above 17, I can actually go in. Huh. And 100% hit rate. Wait. Okay. Yeah, that's not the worst, actually. Okay. You know, I'll try it. I'll give it a go. You're not gonna miss that 99, right, Dimitri? Right, Bubby? I now wish I packed that bow and arrow on Sylvain. Uh, oh, God, I needed that to hit more than anything. Uh, let's trade so you're back on this. Dimitri, it's time. Well. Let's see who's stronger. It's gonna, it's Edelgard, but uh, don't worry about it. Fuck. I probably should have just done the safe strat. My impatience got the better of me. Please hit. Okay, wow, he hit last time too. I'm very proud of you. I am so proud of you. You are a good boy. Okay, so I think... Uh, I'm gonna have Dimitri go to this bush and then back the other two up back this way. I'm gonna split him up. Hopefully I can dodge a hit or two. Uh, yeah, okay, in the bush I go, pop a vulnerary, I'll live, oh wait, but who's to say Ferdinand won't just follow, fuck, okay, I may, I may have, I may have putzed, this is a bad idea, please, please, okay, so I, uh, for, uh, Sylvain, sweetie, <laughs> you might have to go. Maybe? I don't know. No, if I heal, Dimitri's gonna... Yeah, it's gonna be happy. Uh, that's unfortunate. Oh well, it doesn't matter. In all honesty, it does not matter. Sylvain did work. Yeah, he's halfway to three. That's fine. It could be better. I'll train him up during the practice mission, which is also where I'm gonna train up by Liv's Lance rank probably because that's where she needs it the most. Yeah, I figured that was gonna happen. Uh, bye bye. I should put myself on the healing pad. I can't believe it. That's fine. Does not count if they die here. I'll it's all good. Oof. 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 All right, time to cower. We're just gonna chip her out and then we're gonna go get her. That's fine, Sylvain, you were very useful. I'm sorry we couldn't get you to three. But maybe that's okay, because you still need to get your build decided. Then again, we're not really following anything right now. Oh, well. We'll get the... These two probably end up at level four. I'll probably get them to five before chapter two. Oh, Sylvain's not going to be five, though. Oh, well. We're just going to have to learn. Just gonna, he'll just have to be not that for for chapter two battle. Huh, you good? You done? You done with this old temper tantrum? All right, let's put you down. Thank you. All right, Byleth. Nice. Okay, Byleth level ups are being awesome, especially as a flying unit. I am down with good level ups like that. Of course, still not making the best use of all of my... Ooh, wow, I didn't think about that one. We have, like, no pots to us. Uh, I don't think you'd need pots, because we're just going to kill... We're going to try and kill her in one go. Okay, so same plan as last time with Hammerman, except there's no crit chance involved, which I like. Iron Bow. And we're just gonna double dunk on her. Wow, she does four damage. Okay, good to know. Uh, I'll probably just, I'll probably just use Lance, and we'll get small Lance rank. 
Please don't miss. Thank you. Master Commoner. What is my... Yeah, okay, my Lance has a, a far bit to go. You're actually at E plus with swords already, which is nice. You're not gonna miss this 99, are you? Thank you. Is that all? Huh, no level up for you either. All right, that the Blue Lion House. This victory is. We did it! Oh, the rivalry house. Dimitri. Shit. That actually, I wish Byleth got it because that would have gave 50% motivation to everyone, and everyone's at 50%. And I don't think I can fully teach unless they let me go to the place first before they teach. Uh, this was the last run went a lot better. I feel a little sloppy about that. I'm sorry, but it is what it is. We live with it and we move on. If you like what you saw, like it, make sure to comment your builds for Sylvain down below. Vote on that shit. Have a nice day, y'all.